Hello, my name is John Heitner from the Division of Cardiology in the Department of Medicine, New York Methodist Hospital. This morning, I'd like to give you a tour of the Division of Cardiology, and so we'd like to welcome everybody. This is where the Division of our Cardiology Scheduling uh, Area is, and this is really where the forefront of when patients come in, they, this is what they generally see. There's always somebody here to greet our patients as they come through off the elevator into the entire division. And we have some excellent staff members speak uh, Russian, Italian, Spanish. This is where the, really the face of uh, cardiology. So now we uh, are going to head over to our non-invasive uh, section of cardiology where we happen to uh, do our echocardiography, our non-invasive cardiology such as nuclear and stress testing. This is where we do our uh, exercise stress testing. We have a one of our patients here, and Debbie Rinaldi, who's our supervisor, she's uh, in charge of our non-invasive stress testing area. She's been, Debbie, how long have you been at Methodist Hospital uh, for? April 2011 will make 20 years. 20 years. So she's probably actually one of the uh, oldest uh, as far as time being at New York Methodist. And here we are at the, uh, our reading room, which is where we read our echocardiography, our nuclear cardiology. And the growth of this has actually been quite tremendous over the leadership with Dr. Saki. We've gone from doing roughly around 3,000 echoes a year to over 10,000 echocardiographies a year. And we do about 2,000 nuclear stress tests as well. So this is where uh, many of us spend uh, a large number of hours. Dr. Saul happens to be one of our oldest tenured faculty, came to Methodist Hospital since 1991. So he's seen a tremendous amount of changes here uh, over the years. Dr. Saul, if you'd like to say a few words. Uh, certainly, yes. Uh, uh, Methodist. Uh especially the cardiology division has grown dramatically over the last 19 years. We now are able to take care of uh, all problems that people have with their heart and we're constantly uh, building and expanding and using all the latest techniques. If anyone needs their heart taken care of, this is the place to come to. Brooklyn is a tremendously diverse cultural borough and so we try to meet the needs by having a wide diversity of both employees and faculty members as well. One of the other aspects of, from the cardiology that I'd like to uh, bring up is our educational uh, area. We do uh, started a cardiology fellowship in 2005, and we've actually grown from three fellows to 13 fellows. And this is something we take tremendous amount of pride in education of the young physicians. So that's been a benefit of the hospital and to the community. One of the more important aspects as well as our education is our clinical research. We have about eight or so multi-center trials that are nationally uh, driven some sponsored by the National Institute of Health, others by the Duke Clinical Research Institute. We're walking into our cardiovascular MRI center. Um, this happens to be really the only dedicated cardiovascular MRI center throughout Brooklyn, Staten Island, and uh, most of Queens as well. Cardiovascular MRI is a relatively new field in cardiology. Um, it's been really ongoing for about 10 years. Uh, this is where I actually have my specialty. I trained uh, under Ray Kim and Bob Judd at Duke University, who happen to be the pioneers in the field. And here you can see the MRI uh, right there. One of the, the newest and innovative cardiovascular MRIs. One of the great aspects of the cardiovascular MRI center is that everything is uh, internet based so we can send somebody, a patient's images to the cardiologist or the primary doctor who referred the patient and so you get beautiful images uh, really it's just a machine and technology that has allowed us to really open up entirely new aspects of imaging to the heart something that Methodist is really the, in the forefront in both uh, Brooklyn and New York So we're going to walk over to the uh, invasive section. This is where we do our procedures such as electrophysiology, our interventional procedures that we put stents and balloons in people's hearts. So I'd like to introduce our electrophysiology department and this is Dr. Joya Torito. Dr. Torito has been with uh, Methodist for about seven years. We we're very lucky actually from a hospital standpoint to have Dr. Torito. She's a world-renowned electrophysiologist, an expert in ablations and has recently started the atrial fibrillation ablation, which is a very difficult uh, technique that is one of the few places in Brooklyn 
to actually uh, be able to do this. Right now we are going to uh, start an ablation procedure. This patient presented with complaints of recurrent palpitations that were very severe and limited his uh, quality of life. What we are going to do is introduce electrical wires into the heart, uh, map the electrical system. I'll show you how we do it uh, based on uh, a previous exam. Uh, this is a color map. It's like a GPS. Our catheters allow us to reconstruct a map of the patient's heart that shows with different colors according to the area where the electrical activity starts first and ends last. So in this case, for instance, we were able to locate the source of the problem uh, in this yellow area and we successfully deliver the radiofrequency energy, which is a form of energy that suppresses electrical activity. And we are very confident that the patient won't experience any recurrent of his irregular heartbeat. In addition to Dr. Torito, we have Dr. Uh, David Benson, who uh, is also part of the electrophysiology staff and has done a fantastic job building the program. We're very proud of the uh, growth of our uh, EP division over the past several years. We've expanded into uh, full service with uh, full complemented devices, uh, pacemakers, defibrillators, resynchronization devices, as well as a uh, full complement uh, of ablations. We're very proud of our staff and uh, we think we provide a, a good service. Here we are with the, one of our in interventional uh, labs. We have Dr. Saki, Terrence Saki, who is the chief of cardiology is currently performing in uh, angioplasty, looks like, on one of the uh, New York Methodist patients. So it's been a tremendous amount of growth uh, over the years under Dr. Uh, Saki's leadership. Uh, he remains one of the premier interventional cardiologists uh, in the Brooklyn area. Uh, Methodist, I think, is very lucky uh, to have him. You know, I, I think it's an extraordinary group of people that have been assembled. Uh, the hospital has really been very supportive in a relatively brief time to allow us to build what I think is, is, is an excellent division of cardiology. Uh, and with car our, our Department of Cardiac Surgery, I think we have an excellent, high quality, uh, attentive to detail, um, excellent educational program, uh, care of patient program. Uh, we're very excited about what we've done and more importantly, where, we, where we're going in the future. Recently, Dr. Uh, Saki brought on Dr. Soren Brenner from uh, Cleveland Clinic to uh, direct the interventional cardiology lab. Dr. Brenner is really one of the world-renowned uh, interventional cardiologists and has a tremendous amount of uh, knowledge and skills in interventional. And together, they really, uh, I, th I would say, form a dynamic duo uh, for the uh, interventional cardiology program. And they've really raised Methodist Hospital to become the number one center for uh, interventional cardiology and for cardiology as, as a whole.